Hey guys, 8 Warrior 3 here. Um, and today, we're going to be playing some more Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, today we're going to be trying to get the true ending of the game. So, hope you guys are ready for that. I read up on this and I didn't even know this was a thing. Like, I, <laughs> I for real, I had no idea that this was an actual, uh, an actual thing that could happen. Um, I didn't... I didn't know. Like, I didn't know this was an actual added thing into the game. I didn't know there was multiple endings until, like, a few days ago. Um, but anyways, today we're going to be trying to end it, get this ending, and it's a, it, it, uh, it's a bit confusing. Um, so, I'm going to try to explain it as best I can. But first, before that, if you look at the very top of the screen, you will see a Bandicam watermark, and I can't get rid of that. I meant to bring that up in the in the last video, but um, Bandicam is the stuff that I'm using because for some reason OBS kept lagging out my stuff. Um, uh, anyways, so I'm using Bandicam and uh, I can't get rid of the watermark because I'm using the free version of Bandicam because I'm cheap and also poor. So, here we go. So. What I gotta do right now is I gotta go. I gotta go new game. I'm gonna enter my name. Oh shoot, <laughs> my caps lock was already on. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. So basically, this. Okay, um, hold on. Let me go here. I need to be able to skip this text. Um, so I'm gonna. So basically what needs to happen is um this ending supposedly you have to make everybody quote unquote happy and you have to spend time uh with everybody and since this game is kind of like alive so to speak since Monica is like kind of alive in this game um what I have to do is I have to um the so the f first time around, right, I have to make all my poems, um, I have to write my poems specifically for, let's say, Sayori. I have to write all my poems for Sayori. And then right before the part where, where we uh, go to check on Sayori, um, when she, you know, uh, hangs herself, is we have to, um, we have to reload the, okay, so hold on. Um, so I'm gonna save right here because that's what I need to do. Um, okay, so we have to make all. So this first time around, we have to make all our poems for Sayori, and then we have to reload our save, go back to this first day that we're writing poems. We have to make all the poems about Natsuki, which in my normal version, in my normal playthrough, I ended up making all my poems about Natsuki, anyways. But we got to do it all over again to get this special ending. And then the third time around, we have to make our poems for Yuri, and then we can just continue on through the game. And then when we get to the part where Monica has trapped us in that little room in outer space, we have to delete her straight away, and then something will happen. So here we go. Um, so I have to pick things that Sayori will like, which I'm assuming is awesome. Oh yeah, I like awesome too. Uh, time. Crap. Uh, dang. Dazzle? Yes. What about raindrops? Freak. Okay. Depression. No, she likes that. Okay, that sounded, that sounded terrible. Childhood. Yes. Uh, feather. Yes. Rain cloud. Yes. Whirlwind. Crap. Don't care, Yuri. Okay, what about daydream? Yes, got it. Uh, not smile. Yeah. Lucky, yes. Grief, yes. Scars, yes. Doing good, doing good. Uh, graveyard, crap. I mean, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, not Valentine Romance, yes. Uh, strawberry, crap. Um, not Cheeks, 
definitely not that. Maybe Melody? Shoot, she likes that too? Dang. Okay, what about... Um... Man, I really don't know. Because I know... I know Natsuki likes lollipops and ribbons. She likes bunnies, parties. Maybe wonderful? I'm between, like, wonderful and clumsy. I don't know. Let's go... Let's go with clumsy. Okay, that was her. And let's go with... Uh... Judgment. Shoot. Can't believe Yuri liked that. That's some bull crap. Okay, so now... Hi again, Josh. Yes, hi, Monica. Now I just gotta skip this, and we gotta go on to our second day of writing poems. So, yeah. <laughs> it, I mean, it's kind of confusing, but I had to read I had to read the friggin' guide like ten times to- Whoa! Whoa! Oh, shoot. Hold on. Hold up, 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 hold up. I gotta, I gotta go back. Okay, I gotta go back. Okay. I, I had to, I had to, guys, I had to. Hopefully I didn't just ruin my thing. Ho hopefully, hopefully I didn't just ruin it. Okay. Together. Sadness. Frightening. Shoot. Prayer. Yes. I love prayer too. Uh. Marriage. Yeah. Well, let's go with. Family. Shame. Fireflies. Um. Dazzle. Yes. Hopeless. Yes. Picking all the right things. Strawberry. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, Natsuki does like strawberries. I'm I'm just an idiot. I'm just an idiot. I'll admit it. Summer? Natsuki likes summer too, bro. But 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 bass drop. Okay. Um dance. Yeah. No you like dancing. Scars. Let's do heart. Um Peace. Ah crap. Defeat. No you like that defeat. I like defeating people. It's awesome. Adventure? Yes! Okay. So, I totally forgot that you hang out with, ever, with whoever you made your poem for. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I never uh, read anything about the Sayori stuff, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I think this is all the same. Back in the literature club, talking to Yuri, and Tsugi's threatening me. To be Monica's literature. I mean, wait, I just said Monica's literature. That's hilarious. Okay. Helping Sarah with cleaning her room and crap. Jealousy. Yuri got me a gift. Um, uh, Yuri's confused. Shy. Okay, she gives me a book. Discussion. I take the book enthusiastically. Okay. Alright, here we go. Man. Looks like no one no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down to the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always try to read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. Excuse me. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. Yeah, we are intellectual. We don't got time for... an idiots. It's not, but, uh, but it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that, of showing that to everyone, something that speaks to their creative minds. Mmm. That doesn't.
Guess what, guys? My recording just stopped. That was some bullcrap. I just went on, and I didn't even know my recording stopped because it didn't give me a notification like it usually does. So that was some straight-up bull. 100% bullcrap. Anyways, um, I guess I'll just keep going. Also, you guys missed the first uh, scene with Sayori, like when we were hanging out. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Um, but I don't really feel like going back to do that, so... <laughs> Y y you know. Um, anyways. Man, that was... That was like... Bro. <laughs> that was so... That was... That was stupid. Anyways. Um. Guess we're continuing on. Um, so... We're at the part where we, uh... Shared poems. So I'm gonna... Sure, it was Sayori first since we hung out with her. Um, and I can just skip all this stuff because we we already we already know what to, we already you know we already know what all this stuff is. Okay, yes, people can try. If you're curious where I got that from, that was in her poem. Monica, hello. Also, don't know if you guys ever noticed this, but hold on. Um, if I go here, if I keep going here, you hear how the music changes? Like, I always thought that was super cool. I never mentioned it, or at least I don't think I did in my previous videos, but... It was always cool when, y you know, everybody has their own poems uh, theme for for the game. Like, there's a Natsuki theme, um, Monica theme, Yuri theme, and Sayori theme um, that comes on when you look at their poems, which I just thought was really cool. Just thought I'd point that out. Anyways, uh, continue to skip. And yeah, all that stuff. Gotta show it to Yuri now. Don't care. Alright. Let's just keep going. Yeah, you hear how the music changes? It's pretty dope. Pretty, pretty dope. Indeed. Alright, we're done. Siri and... Or not say we're not to be in your you're about to get into an argument. That's all this stuff. I'm just gonna say help me Sayori and Natsuki. I never read this, so I'm gonna read it. Natsuki glares at me, drawing any drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turn to Yuri. Yuri Dot dot dot. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Dot dot dot. Sayori! Eh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Josh. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I... I agree. It's unfair for others to interfere, to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah. Unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being, she would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone, want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. That's to be the poems. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Because. Well. Also. That's to be cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's things are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful, oh my god. Big and beautiful. 
Okay, sure. Sure, we'll go sure on that one. Dot dot dot. Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. Ahaha. Uh -huh. Nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well... I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, I mean she might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You could count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person. Really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If, I, if only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Oh yeah, okay. Now, since we did that, we can skip that. Um, keep going. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, skip that. Skip that bull crap. Okay, gotta make this poem about Sayori too. So I think she likes stuff like... I don't know, skipping? Nah, dang it. Okay, I think she likes stuff like... Uh, lazy, yes. Flower, pout, crap. Precious, yes. Uh, shame, yes. Wonderful, yes. Judgment, crap. Um, let's do charm, yes. Uh, bliss, yes. Holiday, yes. Um, giggle, crap. Clouds, crap. Um, let's do, okay, let's do play, joy, passion, peaceful, adventure, ocean, and finally, music? Yes, okay. I did it. Um, another day, uh, oh, oh, wait, no, no, never mind, hold on, let me skip this stuff until I get to hang out with Sayori, and then I'm gonna read that, and gonna have some fun. Okay, so, okay, I'm back, just had to go do something real quick, um, this is going, yes. So I can skip this. Um, I can skip this because I just need to go check out what's going on with Sayori in this next scene. Um, okay. Skip it a little bit more. And okay. Wait, what did she say? Hold on. Go here. Did Sayori say? Oh wait. What did? Um. Yuri is back to her book, and Atsuki disappeared into the closet. Sayori. Josh. Josh. Sayori suddenly comes up to me. I'm gonna go get some supplies from another classroom. Wanna come with me? Supplies. What for? And then she said, Well, you know how the festival is coming up. Me and Monica were going to make some posters and stuff. So I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Mo okay, I mean, okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Ah, are you going with Josh to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. Aw, oh, but I wanted to go. So much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. Heh <laughs> okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. 
See if you can find post to pay for two, okay? Okay! Ready, Josh? Yep, let's go. Alright. Sorry and I exit the club room. I follow behind as they hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly, it feels like I'm talking to a, taking a kid to the mall or something. Sorry finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Hey, Sayori. What exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? I'm not sure you would make an event out of literature. <laughs> me and Monica have a, I mean, me and Monica have, a, have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're going to do a poetry performance. A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone is going to take turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Ah, that sounds kind of dull. Josh, you're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems. It's about performing them. Like you say the lines of the poem, like... Between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous movement between my fingers. I mean moments between my fingers. But to what ends have I summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every nook, in every direction, the once prosperous field before me is but a barren wasteland. Like that. Sayori, how do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. Eh? You meanie. I'm working super hard on this, you know? Ah, uh, I know, I know. I just meant that it's pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. <laughs> don't say that, it's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, I'm so excited. The festival is going to be so much fun. Sorry spins herself around in the hallway again. Hey Josh, this classroom over here is empty. Hold on. Let me check this. Okay, we're good. Let's begin the mission. The mission, eh? It's been a long time since I've spent time with Sayori like this. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine, drawing happy vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself up in the room more and more. In my room more and more. So going adventuring with Sayori brings about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. Okay, nice, that's cool. The two of us enter the classroom. Uh, Sayori heads straight to the closet and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons! Sayori pulls out a box of crayons off the shelf. They're the best brand, too. They're kind of dirty, though. I mean, they're kind of dirty, though. Sorry starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. Alright, that's one down. I mean, alright, that's one down. Um, don't get distracted. We still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. Fine, fine. And at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. Ah, I dropped one by accident. Oh, shoot, smack. Kia! Sorry bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. You an idiot. <laughs> no, I'm joking, that was mean. She falls to the floor and the crayons spill all over her lap. Ow, 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 ow! You okay? My forehead! Sorry clutches her forehead. Jeez, Sayori. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Since Sayori is sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. You have... You have to move your hands, Sayori. But it hurts. Just do it for a second. Oh, what the heck is going on here? Okay, Sayori. Okay, sure. We'll go with sure. Um, Sayori slowly releases her hands from her forehead. I gently brush her bangs to the side. Ow! Sorry. There's a huge red mark on the center of her forehead. A bump is starting to form as well. Man, that's gonna swell up. I should find you some ice. Josh? Where would I even find ice around this time? Ah, I guess a cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. <laughs> even wincing from the pain, Sarah Smith makes a silly joke. <laughs> what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Alright, I'm leaving. I pat Sarah on the shoulder and run out into the hallway. I locate the nearest vending machine. What should I get? It doesn't really matter. 
since it will be used as an ice pack rather than to drink. But I know this area likes apple juice, so I purchased that one. In just a moment, I'm already returning to the classroom where I left Sayori. Hello. Uh, she has one palm. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> At least they were already in the wrong spot before I spilled them. Sayori, here. I hand Sayori the bottle of apple juice. It's nice and cold. Suri opens the cap and starts drinking from it. Ugh, gross. Suri, what are you doing? It's for your forehead, idiot. Ah, sorry, I forgot. Ha ha ha. How hard did you hit your head? Suri places the bottle against the bump on her head. It stings. Just bear with it. It'll feel better soon. Looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. Hey, Josh. This kind of reminds me... This kind of reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? Eh? What do you mean? You know how we used to play outside all the time? I would always try to keep up with you. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. Like I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing up the things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do things I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. I'd fall and scrape myself or get a bump. And I would start crying really hard. Haha. <laughs> and you would rush over as quick as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. It was almost like you blamed yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out. Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know? Did I really do that? Yeah. You... don't remember? Come to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't pay enough attention to you. So in a way, it was my fault. Kinda like this time, too. If I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. Josh, I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all these years. You're rushing to help me. Even though I'm just being clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. Don't call me that. And I don't really do this kind of thing all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I even know it, I'm treating you, I'm treating you like that. I guess that's what happens when you've been friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. Josh? I'm so glad that no nothing has changed between us. Do you think it'll be like this forever? Forever? If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where we'll end up for college or after that. So it wouldn't be fair for me to make any promises. But, well, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? I can't imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm so happy. Sorry has a whimsical expression in her eyes. We were afraid we remained silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when I see her deep in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know? Good luck with that. She's going to see her forehead either way. Not if I hide it under my bangs. Suri hops to her feet. Ah! She clutches her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself. Ooh. Well, I guess it's too late now. Anyway, let's go. I follow Suri out of the classroom. Suri plays with her bangs to try to hide the bump, but without much success. In a moment, we make it back to the classroom. Or to the club room. Ah, you're back. Good timing. I was just about ready to start start with sharing our poems. Eh? Sorry, your forehead. She's fine. Don't worry about it. I was playing with the crayons and smacked my forehead into the shelf. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Well, anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Were you able to find everything we needed? Uh-huh. I have it right. Eh? Sorry, frantically glances around herself. I, I... I forgot all the stuff. Calm down, Sayori. I have it all right here. I found the poster paper, too. Ah ha ha ha! Sounds like you ended up doing all the work, Josh. Ah, well, Sayori. I failed to come up with an excuse for Sayori. I made it an adventure. Yeah, that. Ah, okay, okay. In any case, good work. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Me too! Okay, everyone. Are you ready to share your poems? Guess I could go grab mine. After making sure the crayon box is closed tightly, I return to my seat. Okay.
doesn't really matter who we show our poem to first. So, you know, I right, skip that. Um, yeah. Uh, show it to Natsuki, I guess. Excuse me. Yeah, you hear how the music changes? Like, dang. It's pretty, uh, pretty sick. Sayori. Go with you. Okay, wait, what the heck happened? I just saw something in the text. It's probably... Probably nothing too important. Show it to Yuri. Okay. Here, let's. Alright. Now we're on to the other stuff. What other stuff is that? I have no idea. But we're on to the other stuff, nevertheless. So. Yeah. Okay, oh, I think this is the part where, um, we're, like, discussing poems, or we're, uh, discussing the festival, I think. But I don't know. I could just be stupid. <sighs> okay. Alright. Um, I would walk home with Yuri... I don't care about Yuri. Get out of here with that bull crap. Of course I'd walk home with you, Sayori. You're like infinitely better than uh than Sayori. So alright, I gotta pick gotta pick words that Sayori's gonna like. like passion. Like uh, tears. Sadness. Friends. Uh, uh, scars. Feather, fireflies, beauty. Yes, wasn't even sure if she was gonna like that, but she did. So, it's a win-win. Nature. Yes. Dang, I am going all in right now. Uh, calm. Yes. Music. Ocean. Bass is about to drop. Let's listen. There we go. Alright. Um. Let's go with. Line? Oh, dang, she did like that too. Alright, sweet. What? Ah, crap. That was the one thing that wasn't savory so far. How? Okay, that, that too. Wonderful. Um, dance, and romance. Alright, cool. So, now I can, I can pretty much just skip this whole day because, uh, we're not, we only hang out with the characters, um, for the first two days. We don't hang out with them. Um, because Sayori's depression is starting to, Sayori's depression is starting to, like, become an issue. And so we're more focused on Sayori than we are, you know, anybody else. And yeah, now it's time to share poems, so share it with Sayori. And then Sayori is not going to share it with me because she wants to go home because she feels depressed, basically. Yes, I'm sorry, Sayori, I'm sorry. I'm going to share it with Natsuki. Sorry, this is kind of boring. Um. Yeah, sorry, this is kind of kind of boring at this point. 
I don't really. <laughs> There's just nothing really to talk about. Basically, basically, we're gonna skip through this. And oh yeah, hold on. I think we have to choose who to spend our weekend with. So I. I'm not sure if choosing the people is like. I'm not sure if. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna go with. Um, just to be safe, I'm gonna click on Sayori because I don't wanna. I don't wanna do that. Okay, well, that didn't even work. So I guess I'm gonna go with Natsuki. You know? Alright. Why does Natsuki always look like she just, like, committed a felony? Like, <laughs> like, she always looked like she's so. she's guilty of something. You know? You know what I mean? Alright, so now, we're going to Sayori's house, and uh, this is what's going on. I'm talking to her about depression of all things. Oh, boy, I'm tired. You know, I kind of like this music right now. It's kind of nice and sweet, and also sad. It don't matter. I'm not sad, so hey, it's a it's a win-win scenario. Actually, it's like a win-lose scenario because I'm winning because I'm not sad listening to the music. But obviously, Sayori's sad. I don't know if she's listening to the music though. So this is this is still going on. Still cooking these, cooking these cupcakes, having fun times with Natsuki. Okay, 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 okay. Here it is. 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 Hold on. Okay. So, well, actually, just hang on. So right here, I'm gonna tell Sayori. I love you, because I didn't do that in my first playthrough, um, yeah, totally did not, whoa, what the, oh, I've already seen that, um, <laughs> dude, last time I, in my original playthrough, I told her, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, this is, this is where I need to reload, okay, 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 guys, you see where this is going, you see where this is going, right at this part, I have to load, and I have to go back to this first day, first save, and I have to make all my poems about Natsuki now, or Yuri, but I'm going with Natsuki, so I gotta click these words, so I gotta click email, gotta click, hold on, is my thing still, is still going, yeah it is, gotta click email, gotta click, uh, kitty, I gotta do sugar, um, poof, Nightgown. Papa. Let's go with skipping. Let's go with, um. Twirl. Maybe? Yes. Let's go. No, it wouldn't be rain cloud. Um. Family? Dang it, that was Sayori. Let's go with boop. Let's go with parfait. Um, hair. Base is about to drop. Um, mouse. Sparkle. Dang it! It's friggin' Sayori. Um, shiny. Anime. Gotta love that anime. Jumpy. Um, party. Shoot. 
and games. Yes. I think I got it. Alright. So if I skip this and I'm going to hang out with, um, if I skip this and I'm going to hang out with, uh, not say Yuri, I mean not Yuri, Natsuki, um, this is gonna be, uh, yes, okay, hanging out with Natsuki, having fun times over here, so, um, I'm gonna let this play out, um, and I'm gonna jump cut to, uh, I'm gonna jump cut to, um, to when, um, to, uh, the next time, the next time, so, see you guys in, like, one second. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, um, we just finished making, uh, the part. Like, we just finished the normal part where we wrote all our poems for Yuri this time. First, Sayori, second, Natsuki, and now Yuri. Um, and now, we're going to, um, uh, since I did it for Yuri, we can just proceed through the game as normal now. And we don't really have to write our poems for anybody, so... Yep, we gotta see this bullcrap again. Um, after we see that. Yeah, skip, skip all that stuff. Okay, now we're here. Got messed up Sayori over here. Anyways, we're gonna continue. Because now, we don't really have to make our poems about anybody specifically. Oh shoot. Freaking noise. Oh dang. <laughs> that noise, I was not expecting that. Anyways. About to continue this. Oh, I didn't mean to not, not start. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Um but yeah. So um, yeah, now that we finished, uh, that main part, I think we're all good. We just proceed through the game, uh, as normal now. Reading, except I'm not really reading, I'm skipping all the text. Because I've already read all this stuff, I don't need to read it again. <sighs> okay. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Sure. What the heck? Oh yeah. I've already seen that. It's the nothing is real one. Or actually there's a question mark at the end of it, so it should be nothing is real. Anyways, I'm just gonna click these words right here and we'll see who I get. Pretty sure I got Yuri because she jumped like a lot of times. Yeah. So yeah. Yep, we're definitely hanging out with Yuri. Hello, Yuri. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Just because I'm a nice guy and I don't want you guys to have to suffer through all this text like I have to, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna jump cut to, uh, where we need to be. So, you're right back. All right, and here we are at the part where we just got done spending the entire weekend with a dead Yuri. Um, so yeah, that's that's good. And we're at this part. I hate seeing this. It makes me sick. Monica's here. Yeah. All right. Let's see, you just ran past me. Yeah. Let's delete her, and then I can steal her cupcakes. Yeah, let's do it. Your character deleted successfully. That's if you .chr deleted successfully. Almost done? Yeah, get that cupcake. 
Yeah, what? Why did she delete Natsuki? Natsuki didn't even do anything wrong. She's like the only normal person in this whole dang game. Oh. And the ear rape. Alright. Dot dot dot. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are. No, there you are, Monica, because what I have to do is I have to go into characters and I have to just delete Monica straight away. I don't even give her a chance. I just delete her. So I just did just delete her. Did it work? Oh yep. Yeah. Alright, so I think I can Oh shoot. I think I can skip all this stuff. Because I think all this is pretty much normal. God. Okay. We're just in outer space now. Let's hurry and help you. She's trying to add herself back. She's not gonna. Oh, God. That scared me again. Okay. She's still trying to add herself back. Yeah, I did delete you. What you gonna do about it? How could you... How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Josh. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Or are you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? You know, I actually kind of feel bad. I mean, yes, Monica is the bad guy in this game, but like... Dang. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. And actually, you killed everyone. I just killed you, so... Stop. Stop joking. Go find some other people to torture. Look, I'm not... I'm not Stalin, okay? I don't use... I'm, I'm not Stalin or Hitler. Completely truly make me sick well you know what goodbye every single girl at my school said that to me so get in line okay and I'm just kidding no actually no girl has ever said that to me surprisingly um, I still love you I can't help it what's wrong with me how horrible am I for you to hate me this much oh my friends I did so many awful things so many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Still don't know what it is. It's not hate, but it's also, it's not hate, it's not lust, it's not, I don't know what it is. Kind of an exaggeration, you didn't delete them. Loved them all, and you did love the literature club. You really did. And so you sacrifice yourself so that others can be happy. Alright, Monica, thank you for your generous donation of blood. Okay. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. You know what? I'm going to have to show my children this game. I wonder what they'll say, say to this. Uh, okay, I think I'll just click new game. And, uh, God, hopefully this works. Okay, so I think all of this is still the same. She's talking about the club, and I'm, t and I'm talking about like, hey, I'll join. And so all this stuff is going on. Okay, I'm telling him I'm joining the club. All right, now she was reviewing the cupcakes. Everything's, everything's normal, you know. These two are getting along, so that's good. Hmm. <sighs> All this, all this stuff is good. Alright, so. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna unskip it right here. So, um, because I don't want to go too far. Alright, so these two are getting along. Alright, I think this is where it is. I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Josh. God, I really hope I didn't just waste my time for nothing. You think so? I mean, you think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you, Ron Sayori. Aw, oh, Josh. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. Hold on, let me... Let me catch my breath. We're gonna make it the best club ever. I mean, we're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Josh. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for spending so much time with us all. You worked so hard to make each and every one of us happy. You comforted us through our hard times. And you helped us all get along with each other. Do you get it, Josh? Because I'm president now, I understand everything. You really didn't want to miss a single thing in this game, did you? You saved and loaded so many times just to make sure you could spend time with everyone. Only someone who truly cares about the literature club would go that far. But, all along, that's all I ever wanted. For everyone to be happy and care about each other. Ahaha. Uh -huh. He's kind of sad, you know. After all you've done for us, there isn't much I can do for you in return. We've already reached the end of the game. So, this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm going to miss you, Josh. Come visit sometime, okay? We'll always be here for you. We... We all love you. That was really sweet. That was that was actually really sweet. I, wow, I just got chills. Not because that was bad, but that was really sweet. I really like that. Oh, hi. Hello, Monica. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh. I'm gonna catch my breath again. Hmm. Yeah, I really liked that ending. That was awesome. It was so it was bittersweet. I'm happy and I'm sad at the same time. Alright, let's listen to this again. I imagine if, okay I'm not gonna start singing because I already know I'm gonna hear about it in the comments and you guys are gonna be like this guy's singing dang man I didn't sign up for this you know and yeah so I'm not gonna start singing no matter how much I want to I'm not gonna do it There is the true ending of the game. So, man, I that yeah, I really like that ending. So my recording just lagged out again. Um. Anyways, I did notice that all of these things are now colored, meaning we all got them in the first first playthrough, first run through of the game. All my things were um. Well, some of the things were uh black and white meaning I didn't I didn't see them see I saw this one um, which was really good uh, yeah special thanks to Monica and Josh oh heck yeah gotta love Monica gotta hate Josh because you know doesn't everybody 
But, anyways. Whole game's getting deleted. Do I get another poem at the end of this? Made with love by Team Salvato. Nice. <laughs> oh, shoot. This is a different poem. What is this? To the special player who achieved this special ending. For years, I've been enamored by the... Holy crap, I can't read this. By the ability of visual novels and games in general to tell stories in ways not possible using traditional media. Doki Doki Literature Club is my love letter to that. Games are an interactive art. Some let you explore new worlds, some challenge your mind in brand new ways, some make you feel like a hero or a friend, even when life is hard on you. Some games are just plain fun, and that's okay too. Everyone likes different ty different kinds of games. People who enjoy dating sims may have a may have a heightened empathy for fictional characters or they might be experiencing feelings that life has not been kind enough to offer them. If they are enjoying themselves, then that's all that matters. That goes for shooting games, casual games, sandbox games, anything. Preferences are preferences, and our differences are the reason we have a, a thriving video game industry. My own favorite games have always been ones that challenge the status quo. Even if it... even if not a masterpiece, any game that attempts something wildly different may earn a special place in my heart. Anything that further pushes the limitless bounds of interactive media. I extend my true gratitude to all of those who have taken the time to achieve full completion. I hope you enjoyed playing it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for being a part of my literature club. Love, Dan Salvato. Well, thank you, Dan Salvato, for making this amazing, amazing game. Um... And, uh, yeah, this has been the true ending, or I guess the special ending, um, as this guy's calling it. But, um, but, yeah, so, uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. This has been an epic journey, just this game, um, in general. And even though I'm playing it in 2019, it was nice to come back, um, and just enjoy the game all over again. Some things I forgot, which was nice, and I got to experience them um, again. So that was pretty cool. Um, kind of like it was the first time, but also kind of not because I remembered that I forgot them. So yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and being a part of my literature club. Um, yeah, so I don't know why I said that. Thank you guys so much for watching and being fans of me, I guess, um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, I will see you guys, as I always do, in the next video, um, bye, love you, love you guys very much, um, and, uh, yeah, oh, and also one more thing, a little announcement, um, me and Sackbot Ninja 3 are starting this, we're partnering up um, and doing this YouTube channel called Randon Arky, um, and I'll probably have it in the description of this video so you can go, uh, check it out, um, but, uh, but yeah, so, thank you guys so much for watching, and, um, if you want to check out Randon Arky, you can, um, and it's, uh, kind of, me and Sackbot Ninja 03's thing for now. We we probably will have other people um, join, um, other people who are who we know in real life, um, or who Sackbot Ninja 03 trusts. Um, people like CL Empire um, and some other people um, so who might uh, join the Random Archie channel. So basically, we're all going to have access to the channel, and we're all going to be uploading on it. And there's, I think, there's, I think we're thinking about one video a day, and we might, um, uh, everybody might take a turn uploading their own video uh, for that day. So, um, and it's anything. It's not just gaming. There's going to be skits. There's going to be vlogs. There's going to be um, uh, um, skits, vlogs, gaming. Um, Landon's doing some unboxings apparently now that he just did today. 
I mean, he's going to upload that video tomorrow, I think. Um, well, he said he has some problems with the, with the video uh, exporting. So, he said if he doesn't, if the video doesn't export for a while, um, he's going to let me upload that day and then he'll upload the next day. Um, but we'll figure it out tomorrow. Um, so, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you, as I always do, in the next video. Much love. Bye.